G'day. So I was working on a project and my motor didn't have enough torque so I designed this gearbox. It fits onto a NEMA 17 stepper motor whilst also being able to be mounted where a regular NEMA 17 would be mounted. Um, to make it, you'll need the 3D printed parts, link to download the files are in the description, a NEMA 17 stepper motor, two MR105ZZ bearings, two 6mm M3 screws, two 10mm M3 screws and two 25mm M3 screws, seven M3 nuts, one M3 grub screw, one 50mm or longer M5 bolt with a hex shaped head and two M5 hex nuts as well as a bit of super glue. Um, clean up your 3D printed parts first if you used supports or rims. You might need to drill out the holes of the gears too if your 3D printer is inaccurate. You can figure it out as you go. Push one bearing into the back of the housing as shown. Insert the M5 bolt through it. Push the back of the bolt until it and the bearing are all the way in. The back of the screw should not protrude from the frame. Insert a hex nut into the pinion as shown, then screw in the grub screw halfway so that it's captured. Slide the pinion all the way down the shaft of the stepper motor. Then tighten the grub screw down. Make sure the grub screw is aligned with the flat on the motor shaft if yours has one. Screw the stepper motor to the housing. Only use the 6mm screws in the hole shown for now. It's a bit of foreplay. We'll be screwing the other two holes when we secure the whole housing together. Take one of the intermediate spur gears and push it down the M5 bolt. It needs to spin freely without the bolt moving. It should engage with the pinion. Do the same with the second intermediate spur gear this time, pushing it onto the motor shaft. It should engage with the previous spur gear. Don't try spinning the gears now because the gearing ratio is going to make it really hard. Push an M5 nut onto the output pinion here. Screw the gear and nut down the bolt until it's in place and engaging with the previous spur gear. Once it's in place, use a tiny drop of super glue to secure it to the bolt shaft. Push the second ball bearing into the top housing. Insert hex nuts into the six slots on the top housing. Slide the top housing onto the gearbox, aligning the shaft of the bolt with the bearing and the motor shaft on the hole. Screw down one side of the housing using the 10mm M3 screws. And finally, screw the other side with the 25mm M3 screws. Screw down the last M5 nut onto the bolt shaft. You're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like me. Smash that like button.